Join up to the strike force. Well, Chuck, a new year and a pretty big challenge ahead for the for the whole group. Uh, no doubt about it. This is a really important match. Fourth game in, we need to win this game. You know, we've dropped one we didn't need to lose against the Chris Gale Sydney Thunder, and we're outplayed by Hobart, so we must get back on the winners list up here in Brisbane. They're going to be pretty hungry for a win as well. The Heat, they're, they're probably in worse worse con condition than us. So, yeah. uh, what challenges are they present? Oh, no doubt about it. If, if they lose this one, they're zero and four, and they're they're realistically probably out of the competition. So, it's the last roll of the dice for them, and. Uh, you know, knowing Daniel Christian very well, who's played a lot with the Redback, so he'll be very keen to G his charges up to get us uh, to get them over the line. But uh, look, I think we've got a team that can play really well at the Gabba, and uh, we've got all bases covered. So it's a matter of our players turning up and, and executing our skills with both bat and ball. Many changes for this week. Unfortunately, Adam Crossweight misses out, which is a blow to us with uh, the wicket keeping, and uh, he's got a side strain. And Tommy Cooper will take the gloves. The international wicket keeper, Tom Cooper. Uh, kept for the Netherlands, and uh, look, he's more than more than handy. So Coops will do the glove work up there. Uh, so that forces one change, obviously. And, and Daniel Harris is back in our squad, and we're going to give him until the 11th hour. He's also we've had two side strains, quite ironically, over the Christmas break. Maybe too much Christmas turkey for those two. Uh, but we're hoping the Doc will be back in the in the order and open up the batting. You expecting a pretty bouncy wicket at the Gabba? Yeah, I would imagine. You know, Darren Lehman again would be expecting us to come up with a lot of spinners. So I reckon they'll have a hard, fast green wicket and they'll probably play a lot of quicks. It's insane that Nathan Horitz has done well for them and uh, Van der Merwe, the South African spinner. So they'll have at least two spinners in their side. So we'll train this afternoon and, and see what the conditions present at the Gabba. It's a pretty big travel schedule over the next few weeks. Is that something the team's used to now? Is it a bit of a hindrance, do you think? Oh, no, I think, you know, in first-class cricket now, we seem to be here, there and everywhere. So up there, then we come back to Adelaide for a couple of nights, which is good, and then we've got the big road trip over to Perth. So Brisbane to Perth in five days. It is big. Uh, and then only a day to recover and we play the Sydney Sixers. So, look, in the next seven or eight days, you know, this Big Bash competition is really going to be sorted out. And, you know, realistically, I think you need to get four wins to make the semi-final. So, four games to go, we, we need to win three of those four. Good luck and thank you. Thanks. Thanks.